Acknowledge him. He's the longest reigning <laughs> WWE Universal Champion in his fourth reign no, as the champ. No, 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 no. He is one of the best wrestlers of all time and also the leader of the bloodline. This Saturday night, we'll be taking on his cousin, Jey Uso, for the undisputed WWE Universal title and status as the tribal chief at mm. SummerSlam in Detroit. We welcome into the show Roman Reigns the and his wise man, Paul I, I, Heyman. I, I, I have to get up here. I have to get Thank up here. Let me, so let me, let, let me pull out this chair for the wise man right here. Here, here you go, oh, the wise man. There you go. How are you, sir? Please. It is an honor. Acknowledge your tribal chief first. Yes, sir. Oh, I feel like I need to acknowledge How are you? I had to do this. I had to do this. How are you, Molly? You got a hug. Oh, are you good to see you? Yes, I did. You got a hug from the tribal chief. It's a touching moment for me. This is. It's a touching moment for me. That's what we do. And he hits me. That's right. That's right. Okay. We bring leaders together. That's what we do. All right, gentlemen. Can we get into this? Because I got a lot of questions for you. Grab a seat, sir. Roman, tell me this. Family business is a different deal. Gotcha. That's right. So okay. what's on the line for your family, for your bloodline this Saturday? Well, this Saturday, it's, uh, it's a lot like every other championship defense. This will be on the line, but what makes this so special in tribal combat is the title of the tribal chief will be on the line as well. The, the leadership of our family, the, this isn't the right kind of table, but the head of the table will be up for grabs. Mm -hmm. So. This will um, define the future of our family, our legacy, and our bloodline. What does it mean to you to headline one of the biggest events of the year? I mean, at this stage and point in your career, being the headliner, being the star, being the marquee attraction, what does that mean to you at this point in your career? Uh, it's just another uh, opportunity to kind of push that gap between me and everybody else. This is something I've been doing for a long time. What makes it so special lately um, is the fact that I have my entire family surrounding me to be able to bring everybody up. Uh, to lift everybody up to a new level, um, I think that's what makes it so special. Okay. Molly, can I switch gears? Yeah. Can I switch gears? Yeah. This man right here, the great Paul Heyman. I, I mean, I, I, I mean, there's very few people that, that, that have a job, that have a career that I look at and I go like this, I, I wish I had that. I wish I had that. That is how I look at you, sir. How do you view yourself, wise men? A phenomenal personality in the sport of the WWE. I mean, what is it like to be you? I'm Paul. the GOAT. The GOAT? I'm the greatest of all time. Really? Yeah, undisputed. Undisputed? I yeah. mean, there was Bobby the Brain Heenan back Screw in the Screw him, he's nah. dead. Okay. Nah. Oh, Lord. Does it, does and Jimmy Hart's still alive, Jimmy which Hart. proves that God doesn't answer my prayers. Oh, my Lord. Wow. You want me to prove to you that I'm the GOAT? Okay, please. I'm with him. Okay. Why would he settle for anything less than the GOAT? Mm. Mm. He's the tribal chief. He's the biggest box office attraction in the history, not only of sports or entertainment, but of sports entertainment. He has smashed every box office record that WWE has ever had, not just domestically, but all over the world on a global basis. And he's done it in Saudi Arabia. He's done it in the UK. He's done it in Mexico. He's done it in Canada. He's done it here in the United States. He continues to do it on SmackDown every Friday night, just topping the previous Friday nights. Why would he settle for anything less than the absolute best? That is a tough argument to make, but yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll stick I don't like to it. talk about it. I'm humble, do. you know. I don't, I don't like to say all that. But stuff. listen, listen, listen. The point is this: he, he does make a very good point. But I would like to remind you, sir. At least in America, let's take into account the greats of the past and, and the, the box office attractions, the Hulk Hogan's of the world, the Rockies family, of course, Goldberg and people like that. And I mean, you've had your, I mean, you've had your experiences, and you've had fighters who have fallen to such individuals. This man right here, you talk about what makes him special as a marquee attraction. What makes, I'm sorry, as a, as, as, as a fighter, as a wrestler, what makes him great as a marquee attraction? What are the elements that make him who he is? Roman but, Reigns? That's right. I'm He's asking. completely redefined the industry. Explain. He, he's in a different genre than anybody else is. Uh, it, it, if you, if, and, and by the way, we do acknowledge the past. Shall I do it for you, sir? Yes, please. See this title right here? Yes. yes. WWE, can, WWE can Championship, can, please. Can, can I hold it? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Go ahead. I'm WWE listening. Champion. He's a little I'm aggressive. He's a little, <laughs> a little I'm aggressive on A little thirsty. Passion. Yeah. Bruno San Martino. Yes. Superstar Billy Graham. That's right. Bob Backlund. Okay. Triple H. Okay. Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. The Rock. Mm -hmm. John Cena. You're right. Brock Lesnar. Go Brock down Lesnar. the list. Brock Lesnar. Mm. Roman Reigns. Okay. See this one right here? Yes, sir. 
I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Universal Heavyweight Championship. Okay. Okay. Was the created championship. Did not have the lineage of San Martino, Morales, Superstar Billy Graham, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, John Cena, Brock Lesnar. Names go down the list. A created championship. 500 days held by Brock Lesnar. Started to get a little prestige. Never in the class of the WWE Championship. Roman Reigns becomes the Universal Heavyweight Champion. Tell him, Paul. And everybody forgets about the WWE title. And this becomes the title in WWE. This becomes the premier attraction. This becomes the Super Bowl ring. This becomes what Tom Brady is after, and we don't have to give half to, Giselle's, to Giselle's attorneys. This is what the title becomes in WWE. Roman Reigns looks over and he says, wow, I want them both. Mm. I'm the tribal chief. I want the history and I want the future. Mm. What does he do? He merges the two championships. Okay. WWE is doing record-setting business. Yes, right they now. are. Big time. Thank you, my tribal chief. You're welcome, wise man. That one, that, just so we're clear, that one, that's my baby right there. That's your baby right there. I did that. Okay. Yeah. I made that what it is. Okay. And that's everything. And then I you. took that. All right. And made it what it is. And now, now we have this. So is there anybody that you think you, you think can take this from you? What you've created? I mean, what if The Rock decides to return and goes up against you? I mean, I, uh, that could be a possibility. I think it could be a possibility. Is there anybody that you can foresee taking all of this from you one day, Mr. Roman Reigns? We don't see it, no. I mean, we, that's, that's what this past year, year and a half has been, is contenders from everywhere. Brock Lesnar, John Cena, they come from Hollywood. They come from other sports. It, Logan Paul. Mm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anymore. I think you did say you were a bit humble just a second ago. You left that to him. But I you, leave. You said, you said, on the, I mean, you, the business side, I like him to throw out the, the, the <laughs> metrics, the stats, all that, you know, the analytics that. But, but you know, I like to keep it. Uh, Is there more on the line because you're facing your cousin? Of course, always. I, I mean, in a perfect world, he's by my side, making sure that nothing changes. We continue to rule this world. That, but he's selfish. Like anybody, any, any family member, any friend that you help out a little too much, mm -hmm it goes to their head a little bit. They, mm -hmm. they, they get a, a sense for a level that they're not quite used to, they want it, they, they covet it, and, and now he's trying to make it his. But that's not the way it's set up. Mm. Like I said, I'm the head of the table. I'm the leadership around here. I have the vision. I, I know what needs to be done, and, and like he said. Mm. Well, one could ask who are you leading because, again, you're the head of the table, but in the same breath, you got family members going up against you. Usually family members, they, you know, they, they, they stick together and what have you. Your family members are not necessarily sticking together. They're trying to take what you have. How do you feel about that? That's the worst part of this whole thing. Mm. I'm just trying to help. Mm. A as a, you know, a as a family man, as, as a cousin, just trying to help them, mm. just trying to lift them up, trying to, trying to get them to the next level. By beating them up? I mean, that's what's going, that's what you're expecting to do this weekend, right? I mean, how are you helping them if you're beating them? You think my family delivers the mail? You think we're part of, you know, the ballet or something? No. We, we run the world of professional wrestling and sports entertainment. Mm. Sometimes you got to have a little tough love. We're not dealing, we're dealing with bees now, billions. This mm. is a huge industry. A major business decisions happen every single week. If they're not up to par, then they need to get smacked around a little bit. That's mm -hmm. the way I look at it. Paul Hammond, I mean... There are very, very few people on the planet Earth that can talk as much as trash as you. I mean, you can really get at people. When you look at the WWE right now, I mean, is there anybody that stands out above the crowd? I mean, not just now, but in the history. Who are the best trash, talk trash talkers in your estimation? Vince McMahon behind the scenes. Behind the scenes? Oh, my God. Him? Vince oh. McMahon? Really? Really? Chairman of the board. Oh, yeah, chairman of the board. I mean, and also he controls the paychecks. That's right. So, uh, so, 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 you, so you're giving that to him. So he talks more trash than you. If he wants to. Okay. He's paying the paychecks. That's true. That's true. So he starts talking what, trash. What wrestler? I'd say myself. Because I, I don't need just the microphone. I'll do it mid-match. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll take it back to the gridiron, like we're on the football field. Mm -hmm. you know, like we're in between snaps, and I'm sitting there chirping at the offensive lineman. So to me, mm -hmm. that's a part of the revolu uh, you know, me changing this business, is, is mm -hmm. putting different touches, mm -hmm. showing different sides and shades of this business. So. What, what, what could I do? You know, I, I usually don't find myself aspiring for something new, but what could I do to be a wise man? What could I do to be a Paul Hain? You can't. I can't? No. I have no chance. He's a, he's You're telling you me I have no chance? I mean, I can make you an honorary rabbi. <gasps> there, there is a process with a moil that's involved that we, we can talk about another time. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm, in, 
I, I never called myself the wise man. I'm special counsel to the tribal chief. This honor, this lifelong honor was bestowed upon me by the tribal chief Roman Reigns. I wouldn't dare call myself a wise man. So the only way I'd have an opportunity to Is if you recognize and acknowledge by the tribal chief. recognize the tribal chief. It's like the king or the queen knighting you. Mm. Okay. Unless Maybe. I find somebody else that I think can take them okay, out well. and I represent them. How about that? You're man enough to make the move. <gasps> we have to go to commercial. Go to commercial. Go to commercial right now. I need time to come back from that. I think go Roman's marinating on what you had to say as well. I think he might have more to say. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.